In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the top four WordPress security plugins that I recommend for 2019. All of them have free versions. The free versions are all very powerful. They have paid versions as well. And I'm going to show you one extra one, which is one I use in every single one of my websites. But it's a paid only plugin, and it's great. I'm going to tell you what that is. We're starting right now. So the way we rank these security plugins isn't just willy-nilly. It's using two data points. We usually would want to have more data points, but we only have two, really. One is active installs. So the largest number of active installs means a better plugin. If people don't like the plugin, they wouldn't have it installed. And then the ratings. So if you have high ratings, five out of five stars is awesome, which WordPress Security has on two million plus installs, which is pretty awesome having that rating for that many installs. WordFence comes in at number one by far. And what it provides in the free version is a web application firewall, which basically sifts out all the bad traffic so only good traffic comes to your site. It allows you to scan for malware on your site. It allows you to scan for file changes on your site. Often when hackers get in your site or hacker bots, they try to change the files to do certain things on your site, either take over your site, display different content for your site, send emails from your server. It also allows you to track live traffic so you can see who's live on your site right now. And you can even see which traffic has been tagged as possibly bad traffic, but possibly not. It depends on various things, but you can see what WordFence thinks the traffic is. So either is it good, is it bad, is it a bot, is it a human, things like that. And I have a tutorial on the free version of WordFence linked up above and all the stuff you can do with it. So check that out. And the next one is iTheme Security. It comes in at 900,000 active installs, four and a half stars, and it's a great plugin. I also have a tutorial for this one linked to up above, and it provides over 25 different ways you can optimize the security on your website. The paid version offers even more, but the free version I believe is almost 25 or over 25 in the tutorial up above either way. Uh, but it provides a lot of different ways that WordFence doesn't. I don't recommend you use them together on the same site because they're both doing basically the same thing. But if you feel you have to, make sure that you A, test it to make sure the site still works, and B, make sure that if you have something running on WordFence, for example, if you're scanning malware using WordFence, don't scan malware using iThemes. So make sure you're not doing the same exact same thing with both plugins. Make sure you have both installed, you're doing different things with each one. Either way, iThemes is a great plugin. I walked through it in the tutorial link to earlier. If you found this video useful so far, please consider subscribing and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below or get on the prior Facebook group where we talk WordPress all day long. There's a link for that in the description down below. All-in-one WP Security comes in at 700,000 installs, five-star rating on average. Another great plugin you can check out. And again, try not to use all of them. Find the one that has the features that you feel you need at this point and install it and try it and see if you like using it. I prefer WordFence. I use iTheme sometimes, use WordFence mostly, but all-in-one WP Security is very popular and it's a great plugin to check out. Sukuri is another one. This comes in at 400,000 active installs, four and a half stars, and it has a free version of the plugin, but also a paid version on the website where they help you do all kinds of things, including clean up your site if it's been hacked. And here are the things it offers on the free version and this website firewall that comes with WordFence, at least a, a version of it. The premium version of WordFence has a better one, but a version of this comes with WordFence. And all of these are also found in the other two, iThemes and WordFence. So really a lot of these plugins do a lot of the same stuff. So you, you go with which one you like. For example, if you're a security customer, you may want to use a security plugin because you're already in their ecosystem and that makes the most sense. But if you're still shopping around for security plugins, this is definitely one to check out. Another one I've installed on all my sites is called WebArcs and it is a premium only plugin and it has a lot of security things. I'm not gonna go into detail on exactly all the stuff it does, but if you feel you want a paid service because you wanna level up your security, WebArcs is definitely one to check out. And like I said, I have it running on all my sites and You've probably seen it in my tutorials. If you ever see me log into the dashboard and you see this little box appear, this is the WebArcs plugin on the site. It does more than just this, but it lists here how many blocks, how many attacks have been blocked in the past seven days, which is 17. And a funny note, when I was hosting WP Engine, this number was in the low hundreds. So it'd be like 100 attacks blocked in seven days, 150 
Now I'm on SiteGround and they have a lot of server security built into SiteGround and now it's down to 17 attacks blocked, which is a lot lower. So um, WebArcs is definitely one to check out if you want to level up, go to the premium version. Like I said as well, all the others are premium versions. So really pick one you like, try it out, try all the features, find one you're comfortable with, maybe even contact their support to see how responsive their support is. I haven't had to access any of their support for any of them, so I don't really know what the numbers are for that. But make sure you find a security plugin you like. Don't run more than one because you might have conflicts. And as a finishing tip, the number one way to keep your site secure is always making sure your plugins, your themes, and your WordPress core files are up to date because most updates include security patches. And if I missed your favorite security plugin or you have some awesome security tips for WordPress, leave them in the comments down below. We'd all love to know. We can all help each other learn and get better at WordPress. So make sure you leave a comment down below or in the private Facebook group. There's a link to it in the description down below. And make sure you click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on your screen so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.